we are shocked, we are tongue-tied, we are perplexed to see a letter addressed to the PSSST directing that Geraldine said be reinstated. The instruction to the Secretary to Treasury, Ramadan Gobi, to immediately have Geraldine Sali reinstated as the permanent secretary is contained in a letter signed by the head of public service, Lucy Nachobe. Earlier this month, Gobi had indicated that Sali would temporarily be relieved of her duties pending the outcome of investigations into allegations of financial loss to government. Instructions for the reinstatement of Sally has rubbed some MPs the wrong way with concern that the action undermines Parliament. Uh, members of Parliament censored the Minister for Lands, State Minister for Lands. He said the Minister is not going anywhere. Uh, ministers raised, I mean MPs raised the red flag on the Minister for Gender concerning the NSS of money. She's, he said, uh, uh, you know those... Actually, in, I think when he's, he's with himself and with those people, he says, you know those fools. This is disrespect of, of, of parliament. And I think as parliament, we must not take this, this lightly. Otherwise, we have no business remaining in this house. They argue that the selective decision of the president complicates the fight against craft. He says zero tolerance to corruption. Even if it is one shilling which has been lost in her hands, then we should see the president acting. Eh? He should not tell us when we are on a on state of the national race. I am Sabarwani. What, what, what are you trying to flex over? What are you talking to? There are spontaneous instances where sections of members of parliament have come out to raise concern about their performance, especially when the president has returned multiple bills as witnessed in the recent past. Now, the failure to effect the resolutions of Parliament on conducted inquiries appears to cement that feeling, although some of the members are still firm about their performance. I think of recent something funny is happening because I see, like some people have observed, most of the bills are not being completed. We have over 73 private members' bills which have not gone through the pipe. They have not gone through. Eh? We have a lot of work in terms of appropriation. We have seen now Minister of Finance becoming the one who cuts the what? The budgets. Elgon North Member of Parliament, Gerard Nangoli, welcomed the reinstatement of Sali. Nangoli credits Sali for saving the public from paying exorbitant rental fees that would have been incurred at Kingdom Kampala building. What this woman did as an accounting officer was for the good of the nation. One is that somebody is trying to save. A lot of money that you would have paid per year, 8 billion. And she says, no, instead of 8 billion, give me this. We work on our own building where we are not going to pay rent forever. And we improve on it, including furniture. Nangol says that the reinstatement does not stop investigations into the allegations against her. An investigation by Parliament into the expenditure of a 5 billion shilling supplementary budget advanced to the Ministry for Rent in the financial 2021-22 had led to the adoption of resolutions calling for the removal of Sally. Parliament found out that the money was diverted for innovation of the farmer's house where the ministry's headquarters is located. Accountability concerns arose from the failure to prove the spike in the figures for innovation by up to 6.2 billion shillings from an initial 4.6 billion shillings. Jackson Onyango, NTV at Parliament.